Ruth chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. Now it came to pass in the days of the ju- when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of that man was Elimelech, the name of his wife, Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Milan and Shalon, Ephraimites of Bethlehem, Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left and her two sons. Now, Elimelech means, my God is king. But when we dig a little bit deeper, the Hebrew says, to whom God is king, the father-in-law of Ruth. So how we could discern this since he's Ruth's father-in-law that my God is king is meaning my deity of Satan is king. This is why in the scriptures he was called as a certain man. As we investigate further on, particularly in verse 2, we see this confirmed. Elimelech's wife, Naomi, means my delight. Now it's within their two sons that reveal this mystery. Of course, Milan means sick, and Shilon meaning pining, which exactly the scriptures tell us is the destiny for the wicked or those in sin. Now many know that Isaac is a type and shadow of Christ. Isaac loved Esau more than Jacob for his venison. So what does that mean? It means Christ came for sinners and loves those who repent. So as we read of in Ruth chapter 1 verses 1 through 3, it was Naomi that was left with her two daughter-in-laws. Elimelech died, their sons died, but their daughters remained. It was Naomi that was God's delight, the venison of Isaac. Ruth, being a friend of God, is a type and shadow of the daughter of Zion and, and all of us coming out of darkness into the faith is the venison of Isaac.